Let's get back to business. Okay, no, nope, he's still going. <laughs> Dude! Okay, everyone in this city is losing their mind. Take care of the others? Got you. Come here, scum. Oh, not you. I guess he meant the others, others. Come here! Oh, not you. You? Man! So, like, are there more or not here? Aha! Yeah, just wait there for a sec. Hold on. Wait. Okay. Meh. Meh. So surely the other person's like up here. Oh, hi. Meh. Meh. All right. Let me have the purple guy. Where's he at? Oh, did he just conveniently spawn at the gym? Ah, that is exactly what he did. Okay, this won't take very long. Bye -bye. Damn, the audacity of you to just set up a light screen. Don't care. Minus two overheat. Well, I tried. Finish him off, thick thighs. Okay. <laughs> Never mind. Show me how thick you really are. Yeah. Your Honor, I fell asleep at the wheel. Honestly, yeah, that's just deserved. Heard you were looking for a new oven. Yeah, this just kind of turns into a back and forth of shadow balls and thunderbolts, but luckily for me, Home Depot is clutch like that. I'm gonna just get off one more thunderbolt before I die. Unless? Oh, shit, never mind. He's got ice body. But it doesn't matter if he gets paralyzed again, though, right? Uh oh. Bunny's got this. Get out of my sight. Oh, he actually did. Look, Moist, it's the DNA splices. Oh, those look important. Yeah, maybe we shouldn't keep those out in the open. No, I think it's okay. Yoink. Oh, that's unfortunate. They don't seem to be in the area. However, they can hide. Yeah, they are ninjas. They were just invisible a second ago. Uh, okay, well, Goobus. You scum. I'll get those splicers back. Ah, uh, oh no, ah, uh, no. Hold on, Drain. I'm getting a call. Yeah, guys, there was a ship here in the city. Uh, okay, I'll meet up with you guys soon. Oh, that was fast, Sharon. Okay, never mind. Well, it looks like it's finally time to go north of Undella Town. I got unfinished business. Mmm, my rag and roller have been waiting for a strong trainer like you. Bro, his name is literally Rocky. I respect a man of his word actually using a level 61 rocket roller. Yeah. While this guy runs off to go get sturdy, I make my way through the cave. There are a couple trainers in here, but nothing that is difficult. Stupid ass Crustle. That cave wasn't very long. This whole route is just navigating between narrow paths and you're kind of forced to fight most, if not all of the trainers here. However, uh, yeah, I'm not really intimidated by a trainer with a level 64 Primplup. Oh shit, my bad. The Whalmer though? That's threatening. Anywho, uh, they're right behind me, aren't they? I am actually overdue for beating up some children. Oh yeah, and apparently this fight is a 6v8 and not a 6v6. A seed flare from Shaman onto the Mr. Mime is gonna take him down to red, and a leaf storm from my superior is going to murder the Cladle. Dude, you deserve to die here. What is even happening? Oh, Trick Room, awesome. I swap out Superior to save him for later, and Basculin is able to tank the Ice Beam. Dazzling Gleam from Mr. Mime will do a good amount to my guys, but not enough to take them out. This leaves Shaman unchecked to take out the Mr. Mime. Aqua Jet from Basculin will take out the Cladle. However, a Rock Gem boosted Power Gem is going to kill Basculin. Shaman gives the Lunatone some sucky sucky and kills him in one hit. Executor Giga drains my Electivire for a little damage, and the Soul Rock hits my Shaman with a Flare Blitz. Close combat from Electivire and hidden power from Shaman is not going to be enough to take these two out, so... At least after that turn, the Trick Room ended. Leaf Storm from Superior is going to take out the Soul Rock and give me a plus two boost to my special attack, and an Overheat from my Rattam is going to murder the Executor. A plus two Leaf Storm is going to be enough to take out the Metacham, but Superior is going to die from a Draining Kiss. If I was smart enough to use my White Herbs, this Overheat would have killed the Jinx, however, it doesn't because I'm still minus two. Jinx dies to a quick sucker punch, but I am lazy and I just press overheat on Rattam. That's the kind of damage I'm talking about. A mystical fire, however, is going to take out my Bisharp, so this comes down to a 1v1. You all must think I'm pretty stupid for leaving my minus six Rattam in in a 1v1. However, I actually accounted for this in my strat. I planned on hitting the critical hit with this Shadow Ball. So who's really the idiot here, huh? 
Honestly, I'd say that was worth it because the TM for Protect? Yeah, you never know when that'll be handy. Curiosity is getting the best of me, and I just want to see what's going on in this aquarium. Gotta say, I was not expecting to see these 3D models of Basculin, but I mean, this is kind of a vibe. Kill me! Gym time already? What seems to be the issue here, Clyde? Oh, he's just going for a swim? Yay, I love hunting down gym leaders. Hopefully it's not going to be a pain in the ass to find... Oh, never mind. Oh, this is the gym leader that's white, but he looks black because he's out swimming in the ocean all day and he's really tan. Like, I get it, but it's just weird looking. It's gym time. Mr. Weed, clear the path. Similar to how Clay's gym had permanent sandstorm, Marlin's has permanent rain. Okay, calm down, white boy. Both Ludicolo and Polyrath have Swift Swim, so a fake out on the Ludicolo is going to avoid his attack, but Lopunny, you have to die to a close combat. Never mind, that's why you're my thick goat. This was all necessary because I wanted to spore the Polyrath. Lopunny living on one HP forces the Ludicolo to take it out the next turn with a Focus Blast. Mr. Weed returns fire with a Power Up Punch, and oh my god, this move with Technician should not be allowed. Polyrath stays asleep. You know what that means. Mr. Weed cleans up the Polyrath with a cut. Both of my mons are going to get outsped here, so Berloom dies to a hurricane and Basculin dies to a thunder. Unless? Sadly, that's not enough to kill. However, Basculin gets to go out doing what he loves. Due to current events, I am going to avoid making a hurricane joke, but Shaman is going to survive and retaliate against the Kingdra with a Seed Flare, and a Leaf Storm from Superior is going to be more than enough to take out the Starmie. A second hurricane has hit the Superior. Superior survives, but not without getting confused. Leech Life coming out from Kabutops onto my Shaman is scary, but we pull through. Shaman also retaliates with a Giga Drain, which is going to bring the Kabutops down to one. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Okay, thank you. Superior going down to a hurricane is no big deal. We got Shaman here to hit him with a hidden power ice. Perish. Yeah, this one looks like a perfect fit. Oh, hey, Steven. Here to congratulate me for winning the gym battle. You're looking the wrong way, bro. Marlin, how did you get over there? Dude, you were just in the gym. Now that I have the last gym badge, I'm going to continue north to Route 22 past Humalau City. Oh, that's a big boy. Please don't be him. Please don't be him. Please don't be him. Oh, oh he just phased through the woman. You must teach me this sorcery. Or just give me whatever the hell this is. <laughs> just call it the coal rest machine. All right, well, I guess I'll see you later. Later, Cole Russ. Uh, but bro, you do not have consent. Get out of her right now. That guy still sucks. Hey, guru. Look, Teraki and I don't have the patience for this. Either you survive the hits or you don't. This shouldn't kill. Okay, yeah, that's good. Theoretically, he does not die to this, right? Ah, uh, well. Wow, that was really unfortunate. Like, if I had a list of the top 10 most unfortunate things, that would probably be, like, number three. Well, the cold rest machine will allow me to move this Crustal. And by Crustal, let's just say I'm about to Crustal a nut. How the hell are we supposed to get on the ship? A heavy gangplank fell with a solid thud. Wow, thanks, Marlin. Okay, bye. Anyways, I'm gonna come. Plasma! What's up, squad? That's so true, dude. There are intruders. I guess I'll just follow your dumbass. Well, looks like it's time to battle. Steven, that is not a cool catchphrase. <laughs> Me when I'm super annoyed. So now I gotta go try and figure out what the stupid password is. Yeah, this guy really snoozing. So we're like five minutes into infiltrating the ship and all it takes is for one plasma member to say, wait, no, I'm a spy, please believe me. And Steven's like, ah, shit, you got a good point. Well, the next step is just to walk into their bedrooms and beat them where they stand. Gotta clear this room, avoid the double battle, nothing. Okay, wait, this isn't a battle? Even if I win a battle, I won't. Pause. Ugh, I need to lay down. You know, there's an alarm system going off on the ship, but no one really seems to care. Though I did beat this random ass grunt in a battle and he gave me a key card. Hold on, I gotta hack the mainframe. All right, we're in. What are your plans, you fiend? Oh, it's the legendary Pokemon of Ice! Cure him! Oh! And Steven was here too! What are the odds this fight is difficult? 
Mmm, yummy intimidate. I start off the fight with a dragon dance, because why not? Quillfish sets up hail, Walrein fails an encore, and Steven's Electros goes for a wild charge. A quick dragon claw is gonna finish off the Quillfish. Walrein retaliates with the Blizzard. Steven's Electros is gonna live on low HP and retaliate with a wild charge. Okay, Steven, I don't care that you're on my team. That's still cheating. See, this is what we get for you cheating, bro. Because you used a Hyper Potion, I died to an Accelerock. Like, it's your fault. Here he comes. Batter up. Ooh, and the Giga Drain from Electros is going to murder the Golem. It's funny because the Weavile thinks knocking me off and taking my Life Orb away is going to save him. Meanwhile, Steven just fists the Carnivine. Oh, but Carnivine retaliates with the Power Whip and Nay Nay! Drifflim smacks us with his shadowy balls. Shaboink! Ow, oof, oof, ow, a Power Whip, ow. And yeah, Flygon's just gonna finish off the Carnivine. Are you the one who stole that one random Purloin in Aspersia City five years Steven, ago? Steven, really, now? All right, Steven, they may have gotten away. Honestly, I would go as far as to say that that would probably be like maybe number six on the list. Well, now we got to go penetrate that grandma's old wrinkly hole. But first, though, I'm going to make sure I can move this strength rock so I have easy access to a Pokemon Center and I find some stuff like this TM for Dazzling Gleam. Though I did stumble across this hidden grotto and I decide to catch a few more team members. First is this Togepi because I've been lacking a dedicated fairy type. You may like your eggs scrambled. I prefer mine fertilized. And then, of course, I get the opportunity to bring back one of the goats. It's time to finish off Team Plasma once and for all. Ah, I made it to the annual loser convention. Oh shit, they didn't like that I said that. Wow, Alt sure seems like he's in trouble, but let's use this opportunity to take a word from our sponsor. Today's ship post is sponsored by Femboy Hooters. Use code ALT at checkout for a discount on a 20 piece nugget and a glass of man milk. Make sure to get this limited time offer now at your local Femboy Hooters. <laughs> Back to the video. After dealing with the pirates, there was only one more thing I had to do. Some people call this guy gross, I call him stinky. And we back on the ship. Steven is is brave enough to tell me to go on ahead, but I need to prioritize looking for his stupid cat. After penetrating the bowels of this ship, I encounter once again the Team Plasma spy. Uh, he pretty much just tells me that I gotta go defeat Team Plasma, like... Okay, all I gotta do is just kind of make my way through this like pipe button maze and there's four triggers that I have to hit to be able to get to the next area. It's kind of convenient though because I'm not really forced to fight any of these trainers, I can really just kind of avoid them. Boink, bonk, boom, ah. Oh my god, it's Kirim. I really hope I don't have to fight the purple guy for the fifth time in the past like 30 minutes. Son of a bitch! I start by faking out the Vanillux so it can't get a move off, however, Cryogonal is gonna get a Blizzard. Kingdra is going to hit back with a Scald. The next turn I power up Punch into the Vanillux, but in this game, it's apparently not just a pure Ice type. This is gonna have some consequences as I get hit with another Blizzard, but I'm able to take out the Cryogonal with a Scald. Dazzle and Gleam, however, from the Vanillux is gonna kill both of my Mons. Charizard, like a fucking idiot, misses the Flare Blitz, which allows the Frostlass to get off an Ice Gem boosted Blizzard. It is incredible that both of my Mons managed to survive. This allows Togekiss to attack the Vanillux with a Flamethrower. Charizard decides to actually hit his Flare Blitz this turn and takes out the Frostlass. However, the recoil is too much for him. Togekiss is on 1 HP, but is going to get off one more Moon Blast before dying to either the Walrein or the Hail. My poor baby. Don't bring a knife to a gunfight, or don't bring grass ground types to an ice fight. I don't know, something like that. Seed Flare from Shaman will take out the Walrein, but now we gotta tank an Icicle Crash. Good job! It is incredibly insulting that a Wood Hammer from my Torterra is going to not kill the Mammoth Swine, but instead leave him on 1 HP. Down goes Torterra. But that Dazzling Gleam TM that I picked up earlier is going to come in clutch to knock out the Mamoswine and bring the Weavile down to half. He has to miss or fuck up. Okay. Yeah, wasn't even worried. Stupid ass old man. Oh, uh, beaten again for like the seventh time? Okay. 
Oh my god. I am going to co-rest you. Kingdra is able to take down the Behiyem quite easily with a Scald and a Surf, but out comes the Porygon. I want to save Kingdra just in case, so Metagross is going to take it from here. Hyper Beam from the Porygon Z is going to do even a good amount of damage to Metagross, even though he resists it. I power up Punch to raise my attack, because this turn the Porygon Z has to recharge. But I don't really have a priority move, nor do I outspeed, so womp womp. This time a power up Punch from the Infernape will take him out. I can't handle Rotom Wash with Infernape, so I swap in Shaman to tank the Hydra Pump and retaliate with a Seed Flare. Uh, he has a Focus Sash. Uh, never mind, he's just gonna Willow West me. Hidden Power. Because Magnezone has an Air Balloon, I have to pop it with the highest damaging move that I have, which is Seed Flare. The Magnezone has Bug Buzz, though? Hell yeah, Shaman. Hell yeah. Goodbye. It's too bad that Shaman died from burn. I go for a Flare Blitz on the Metagross, however, this is holding an Aka Berry, so it's not gonna kill. Instead of killing me, the Metagross sets up a Shift Gear. Metagross outspeeds me, but whiffs the Zen Headbutt like a fucking bozo. Really? This is the last thing you have? Now, perish. I never wanna see you again. So what's on this side? Oh god. First I fight purple and now I have to fight green? Blah 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 blah. I hate Pokemon. I am evil. Blah 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 blah. You scum! You'll never walk out of here alive. Wait, stop. No, come back. No, no. Ah, Steven, you're here. Now we can work together to defeat the Shadow Triad. Oh, never mind. We're fucked. All right, I guess I'll defeat the ninjas. Wow, what a tough fight. Glad that's the only one. Man. Okay, can we just call a quick timeout so I can go heal my guys? Mm -hmm. Yup. Okay, cool. Thanks. I'll be right back. <laughs> Okay guys, I'm back. Buddy pulled up with the literal worst triple battle spread I've ever seen. <laughs> oh my god. All right, scram, skedaddle. Time to chase down the funny green man. Come here. Ah, I finally caught you. Ah, you finally caught me, the bad guy. Uh, look at this cool Pokemon I have. You want to see a cool magic trick? Yeah, yeah, I do. Oh, look at, look at this. He can make floating ice cubes. Whoa, dude, that is cool. Whoa, dude, this is awesome. I'm having a lot of fun with you. Rushy Ram, Fusion Flare. Uh, all right, that's it. Who is making me spontaneously combust? Is that everyone's favorite character, N-Word? You can't say his name, gets this. You don't have the pass. Oh my God, get back. He has the mysterious floating sucky sucky orb thing. Bro, run, don't just stand there. Ah, too late, he got sucked. Uh... Your little fucking nuts are gonna start quaking, buddy. There's only one thing left to do. Oh yeah, cure him. All right, let's finish him off for a second time. If you're just gonna Esper Wing, bro, I'm gonna murder you. Hit him with a Moonblast. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, according to my calculations, if you use Esper Wing again, you lose. Okay. I busted a nut in your legendary and I thwarted your plans. What are you gonna do about it? Oh no, no, he's gonna battle me. I set up a nasty plot in front of Kofagrigs' face while he sets up a trick room. The next turn, he hits me with the hex, but Mama didn't raise a bitch because I'm just going to nasty plot again. He decides that his best move is to willow me, but that doesn't matter because I'm going to moon blast you into oblivion. Because of trick room, the Machamp outspeeds me and is able to take out my Togekiss with a stone edge. Psych! We live! Get the fuck out of here! Okay, Togekiss, now you have permission to die. Because we both had to swap in at the same time, I didn't really choose the best option, so I swap out my Rotom into a Kingdra who can just tank the Aqua Tail. Trick Room wears out, and now I outspeed and hit him with a Scald. The Electros goes for a Coil, so piss on him! My Dragon outspeeds and kills me, and I really didn't want to swap anything into it, so goodbye, Kingdra. One quick fisting session later, and High Dragon goes down. Without realizing that the Gyarados is going to waterfall my Infernape, I just swap over to my Rattam. However, let me remind you, the audience, that Home Depot does not fuck around. Shkaboosh! 
Genesec tries to finish off my Rotom with a Bug Buzz. Oh, that was cute. Kind of unfortunate, though, because Genesec does have a Focus Sash. Womp womp. Yeah, this will just take a sec. Up, 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 up. Ah, now your evil plans have been foiled. Thank God the Shadow Triad is here because they're now on our side and they banish Getsis to the Shadow Realm. I'm not gonna lie, and you really didn't even do anything. I was kind of having a good time with Getsis and the Ice Cubes. Oh, hey, Steven, don't worry. I did all of the work as usual. Well, Zam! This is the last individual video of this series. The next one I put out is just gonna be like the elongated combined version of this full playthrough, which will include everything after this point. Oh, and there is one more thing that I do you think you guys should hear? <laughs> wobble de wobble de wop wobble wobble stack stack in my paper. My wallet look like a Bible. 